Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about something you might not have known about the LCS from Cloud Defensive and the cable management. So we're downstairs and we're going to go over the cable management of the Cloud Defensive Rain. These things are really cool and this is what a lot of people are going to be thinking this is going to look like. You just pull the cable right out of it and bring it this way, which just works. I mean, your cable is pretty managed. It's not really sticking out. It's not going to get snagged on too much. But the way Cloud Defensive designed this is you could make this a lot more hidden, non-seen, and have just barely any cable coming out of it if you do it the right way. And that's what we're going to go over real quick. So I'm going to break this down and I'll show you exactly how to run this cable to manage it even better than this. So this cable's off here and we'll break this completely apart so you can see. Right here, there are channels inside of the mount. So when it's mounted, it's mounted like that on the side and you don't see these channels, but you put the cable wire inside these channels like this and they stay under there and hidden under the pick rail and you won't see them and it keeps your cable from being out because so a lot of the lights you'll see they'll be sticking out like this or people will zip time or tape them just some way to keep that cable close but with these you put the cable in these channels and there's actually something that a lot of people don't know about as well is there's a spot right under here if you put it through this channel under here then back through this channel and out you lose this excess. So let me explain that. So instead of just exiting this straight out the right and right to the light body, what you're gonna do is you're gonna exit out the left, you're gonna go up this channel, up the top, back down, and then to the right. So that's gonna get rid of all this excess wire, and then all you're gonna get is this little bit of stub sticking out. So let's real quickly do that to this light. So we're gonna bring this out to the left here. I'm gonna close that, we're gonna bring that down. And then I'm going to put this back on the rail where I had it. So it'll make it much easier if you remove this tail cap here because it just makes it easier to move the cable and manipulate it. So now you're going to take this piece. You want to exit out that side port. So again, this is going to be a little bit difficult at first, but trust me, it'll be worth it when you're done because then you won't have to worry about cable management anymore. Your cable will be completely right where it needs to be. And then once you can get it all closed like this, then you want to get these tightened down just enough that it's going to stay and then you can move things around. So that's on there now and now this is all that's left of the cable that's sticking out. So we're going exiting out the left, going up to the front, down this pick rail to the right, exit here, down this section and exit out the side. So this just makes for a much cleaner setup. So now we're going to take this piece and don't worry about your cable. It's meant to be moved. Cloud Defensive made a good sturdy cable. And if you have any issues with it, I'm sure they will hook you up and make sure they get you what you need. So then you take your tail cap screw piece, put it on there. And now what I had before wasn't horrible. There was nothing really wrong with that. It was still good with uh, you know, the cable management itself there, but this, is a ton better. Look how much less, you know, before the cable came down a little bit and then went back up, really wasn't out of the way. I could have thrown something there to cover it, but this is so much better. Now that is all that is sticking out of this gun. That is impressive. Now you just want to tighten these back down a little bit more to where you're comfortable, that this isn't gonna go anywhere. And there you go. That looks awesome on there. By the way, this is a Valhalla Tactical Boulder body. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to mount this really close to your rail, as you can tell. It comes with multiple different mounting pieces to get that angle perfectly. You go, you can angle it up a little bit more, but with the size of this head, it makes it a little easier to make sure this sits as close as possible. You can see it's very, very flush against this handguard. Uh, so if you guys are looking for a different mounting option, I'm going to be doing a full review on those. But super happy with this light. But that is how you're going to be using the cable management the right way. So I hope this video was helpful. I am a big fan of these cloud defensive reins. As you can see, I got one here on this rifle. This is the Brownells BRN. And then over here with this rifle as well. Really nice light and uh, the capabilities of it are fantastic. Output's awesome. If you guys want to see a full review I already have on it, you can check out here and see that video. If you want to see my exact thoughts on this light. But so far, I've had a lot of fun with it. You can use code Tactical Visor, and that will save you 10% off anything on Cloud Defensive's website. Uh, but I have been a big fan of these so far. They have their pistol lights coming out very soon. I'll be getting a hold of a couple of those and testing those out 
out like I did with the Reigns and the Owls. So I'll be able to give you guys a really good idea of what I think of those. Other than that, big fan of Cloud Defensive and the things they do and uh, the thought process they put in with little things like this. So if you wanna help out the channel and the things that I do here, there's a couple ways to do that. Down in the description, there are some discount codes from companies that I personally trust that you can use to save some money. And there's a link to my website from there. You can use links to other websites like Brown Owls, Air Precision, Premier Body Armor. Anything you purchase using those links does help out the channel a ton and I really appreciate that. If not, I just appreciate you guys watching the channel, being here, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Those things do help out as well. A couple companies that support my channel and things I do are Howitzer and TA Targets. Howitzer makes some great clothing and they donate 5% of proceeds to charity, which is really cool. Plus I wear their stuff all the time. It's super comfortable. They have pants, shirts, uh, jackets, coats, hats, everything pretty much you can think of on their website. There's a link to the description for them and TA Targets, pretty much the only targets that I use at my range and I definitely recommend them. And you can use code tactical advisor and it'll save you 10% off there as well. This is the Galil Ace. I'm sure you've been looking at this thing um, and I bought it because it's an absolutely gorgeous gun. Having a lot of fun with it so far. I got the Mepro light set up here with the magnifier. Uh, I'll be doing a review on these, the gun and uh, the boulder body here from Vala Tactical as well. So I've got a lot of things on here I'm testing right now. I might throw the Hollow Sun IR device on here as well and do some night vision stuff and just continue testing that because I want to get a review on that as well. But this gun, this gun is sweet. Other than being heavy, I think is about the only downfall that I've been able to find so far, but I'll be doing a full review on this. If you guys have any questions about this gun and this setup or any of the accessories, please let me know in the comments and I will help you as much as I can. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all.